There is a general perception the future of cryptocurrency rests with its decentralized applications. Two of the most emerging cryptocurrencies which everyone talks about nowadays are Ethereum and Solana. Ethereum has shown colossal growth in 2021 as the number two ranked cryptocurrency according to CoinMarketCap.com with a year-to-date increase of around 900%. As demand for Ethereum, the most used cryptocurrency, has surged this year, other alternatives have surfaced in an attempt to compete. Among them is Solana, a cryptocurrency with a native name tag called Sol. Solana has respectively flourished as well. well a few reasons why Ethereum and Solana are often compared. For one, both have innovative contract capabilities. Smart contracts or compilations of codes that carry out a set of instructions on the blockchain are crucial in running decentralized finance or DeFi applications and non-fungible tokens or NFTs. Many market experts have said Solana could oust Ethereum in the long term. Solana could be able to strengthen its developer community. It could be able to attract more developers to build decentralized applications on the network and surpass Ethereum. Solana, officially launched by Anatoly Yakovenko in March 2020, was explicitly designed to support smart contracts and create decentralized applications or apps. The Geneva-based Solana Foundation controls it, and its native token is called SOL, whereas Ethereum is an open-source and decentralized blockchain that can allow smart contracts. Its native currency is Ether and was founded in 2015 by Vitalik Buterin and Gavin Wood. So what are the basic differences between Ethereum and Solana? Solana is a fourth-generation blockchain and cryptocurrency that uses open infrastructure to support many transactions. Solana has risen from lows of merely $1.5 to highs of $258 at the beginning of the year. Propelled in April 2020, the digital token has sailed about 35,000% from $0.75 back then. It saw a rally of over 750% since May 2021. Its system is remarkably fast as it supports 60,000 transactions each second and takes just 500 milliseconds to create a new block. Solana's network currently contains 200 physically different nodes that receive, verify, and send transactions. Its algorithm, known as a High Frequency Verifiable Delay Function, or VDF for short, is a triple function like setup, evaluation, and verification to produce unique and trustworthy outputs. VDF also guarantees network stability by proving block producers have waited a sufficient amount of time so the network can move forward. On the other hand, Ethereum is a blockchain platform with its cryptocurrency and programming language called Solidity. The network users can create, monetize, and use applications on the platform using Ethereum currency as payment. The Ethereum network has 7,000 nodes and 90,000 validators with a market capitalization of $350 billion and a transaction speed of 13 to 45 transactions per second. Although both of these blockchains are unique, they still have the similarities. Just like Solana, Ethereum is a decentralized open-source blockchain that can support smart contracts and decentralized applications. Solana is a programmable blockchain similar to Ethereum that can run multiple decentralized finance operations. Solana and Ethereum offer the capabilities to store smart contracts programmed to fulfill transactions only when specific transaction conditions are met. The decentralized blockchain platform permits users to change ETH and SOL coins and no fungible tokens and other digital assets as a programmable system. Despite Ethereum being an older and more sophisticated digital currency, it still has its limitations which Solana has improved on, so people now prefer it to Ethereum. Most of Solana's innovations can be attributed to the shortcomings of Ethereum, as Solana was able to increase value while other major cryptocurrencies were suffering huge losses. The increased price growth grabbed the attention of a lot of crypto enthusiasts, investors, and traders. The Ethereum blockchain has so far been unable to deliver faster operations, which is a nuisance for many users. Unlike Ethereum, Solana is a proof-of-stake kind of blockchain, making it more friendly and easy to use than the popular proof-of-work blockchains that Ethereum uses. Unlike the proof of work where massive energy is used to run a blockchain, proof of stake makes the validator nodes on the network stake something. Although the validators can consume power to operate, their power consumption is far lower than the proof of work blockchain. Since Solana can handle more transactions per second, the fees are meager and cost 0 0.001 cents. The low transaction fees have recently attracted numerous developers to the blockchain platform. As a result, a wide range of decentralized applications or dApps and intelligent contract projects are deployed on the Solana project, making it one of the most widely and frequently used cryptocurrencies globally. Now, as we conclude, the crypto landscape is ever-evolving. 
there's enormous room for both Solana and Ethereum to coexist and grow. What are your thoughts on these? Comment below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. We hope you've all learned something. If you found this video illuminating and helpful, please like this video which dramatically helps the channel and helps YouTube find similar viewers like you who are curious about cryptocurrency. Until next time, take care.